hi so i'm back again so for today i will discuss about the newton robson's pizza okay i went a little bit overboard with it so <laughs> moving on we have here the basic um method in use used for solving nonlinear equations for finding the roots of equations so say that we have our function here this is our function i already drew it it's not so nice because i don't usually draw <laughs> but it's a decent one so this is our f of x so say that for the newton sharpson method we first um guess point here our point here would be denoted as x sub zero or x naught and then what we're trying basically what we're trying to do here is that we evaluate this point this the function of this point that would be f of x sub zero and then we get its derivative so if we get we get its derivative the line would somehow look like this that is our derivative for the function of x naught and then we look where it intersects the our function so at this point it intersects our function here and for this point that would be our x of 1 and now when we have our x of 1 here same as with x naught we evaluate the function at this point x 0 go 0 we evaluate that and then we find its derivative so if we find the derivative at this point that would become somehow like this it's actually close to x naught so basically we're trying to get close as we derive our functions here so for a newton schwabson method the formula i will write down now so that would be x sub i plus x sub zero minus the function f of x over derivative of our function as easy and short as that so this is our formula for finding the newton's method so i have here an example so given that we have function has a value of 2x squared minus x minus 5 equals 0 so that is our first we first equation first first equation, sorry this is our given equation and then we find the derivative of this that would be 2 times 2 4 x 1 and then this would be minus 1 and then say that our x of naught we will start as at 2 okay so when i solve formulas for me personally i always have a table so that i don't get confused so we create a table here x0 and our value of f of x and then our derivative f of so we start at 2 this is our iteration number 1 so basically we're just going to substitute this 2 here to our function so that we can evaluate it so 2 times 2 raised to 2 that would be 4 times 2 8 minus 2 that would be 6 minus 5 equals 0 this would be 1 and for the derivative of the function we just substitute 2 here 4 times 2 that would be 8 minus 1 that would be 7 and then we are going to substitute these values to our formula here which is x of 1 equals x of 0 minus f x minus uh, over the derivative of the function f of x so it would look uh, it's like this 2 minus 1 over 7 our x of 1 for our first iteration would be 1.8571. Sorry, I've already calculated this and it's in my paper. So we just put it right here 
A5, 7, 1. And next is we go to the next iteration. So for iteration number 2, our x of o, the value of our x of 1 would be our new x of o, just like we, what we did here in our graphical, um, graphical diagram. So this would be our 1.8571. Again, we are going to substitute this value to our function here and to our derived function and that would result to 0 0.4 zero here, zero five, seven point four two, keep missing that, eight four, and then we have one point eight five one six. So for our second iteration here, the value of x of one, again, that would be the value of our x of zero, new x of zero, one six. So stop, stop right there. When we get our addition of the value of x of e, 0, we have finally found the roots. But here we only found the roots at two decimal points. So the answer would be 1.85. That is the value of our root. Now if we iterate and iterate, we get a lot more closer to the real value. So that is the Newton Robson's method. I hope you understand this. It. Very basic. Thank you.